Welcome to Thai Massage. My name is Michelle Yorkhart and I will be your therapist today. Thai Massage is a form of massage using deep tissue work as well as energy flows with your energy lines. I studied with Jean Wer, who in turn studied in Thailand for numerous years with two of the schools from the seven schools of Thai Institute. Next we'll be looking at what equipment you will be needing to do your Thai massage at home as well as the hand movements you will be needing. Right, now we're going to take a look at the equipment that you're going to need for your Thai massage at home. To start off with, you'll need a mattress. I found the best mattress is one of your mattresses or your cushions from a deck chair. It's padded enough for your knees and for your client's comfort, but not too padded as in to restrict your movement. On top of that, you're going to have a duvet. Uh, I would prefer double or queen size that you can fold into a double layer just to give extra comfort. Comfortable pillow for your client's head. And then secondly, a reasonably small pillow that you can use for your knees. As when you do Thai massage, you spend quite a bit of time on your knees, so it is good to find a cushion that pads your knees, but also gives you a good position. Uh, most importantly, dress-wise, gym clothes, yoga clothes, anything that has stretch and give and movement. Likewise with your client, advise them to wear tracksuit, yoga clothes, preferably long trousers, long sleeves as well, as when you grip arms and legs, you don't want to pinch skin. You can be bare feet or you can have socks depending on the weather. So that's basically the equipment that you're going to need. For your Thai massage, I'm going to teach you a couple of basic hand movements that you're going to be using throughout your massage. The first and most important massage is what we, or hand movement, is what we call your palm walk. Using the palm of your hand, you are literally going to be walking up the surface area. You use this mainly on wide areas like legs, arms and on the back. The next movement is what we call a thumb press. It's taking your thumbs and using the centre part of your thumb with even pressure and using your body weight, you will be using pressure in order to, on a specific area. And you can use this on legs and also smaller areas like your neck and your arms. The second one, again, with a thumb, Similar to the palm walk will be your thumb walk, which is using your thumb that you can just walk along an area. This method or this movement you're going to use a lot on your energy lines. And to explain what your energy lines are, you have three sets of energy lines on your leg, on the inner side of your leg, and as well as the outer side of the leg. In the next section where I will teach you a massage for the energy lines, I will point out exactly where these lines are. Furthermore, you have energy lines, three on your arm, which will be on the center of the arm, as well as on the outer side of the arm. With these, you will mainly be using your thumb walk and as well as on your back, you will use certain areas, especially when you find blockages. With your thumb again, you're going to have circular movements using your body weight for pressure. And those are the basic hand movements that you're going to need for this massage. 